We just want to give you a chance for a little bit of romance. The Lovers is a new Australian musical, which is a pop-infused reimagining of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. I've incorporated my modern voice to basically tell this story and to explore themes of love and trust and betrayal and human folly uh, with these characters and with an infectious score. I'm Laura Murphy and I'm the writer and composer of The Lovers, the new Australian musical which is presenting its world premiere with Belle Shakespeare at the Sydney Opera House in October and November 2022 and I cannot wait to share this show with audiences. I'm at this point now where, where it's just so ready, we have the right team together, and to be able to premiere it at our most iconic venue, the Sydney Opera House, I mean, come on, it's incredible. The songs in the show are certified pop bangers, one after the other, basically, and it was important that it was pop music used to tell this story so that the characters can, you know, explode from that original Shakespearean text and speak to us. 2022 audiences with our Tinder and our The Bachelor and all of our ideas about uh, romantic love and to really tap into us and use that pop music as the conduit between the characters and the audience. I'm so excited to premiere two songs from the show today that fit together um, as sort of one musical moment in the show. And it's where we first meet the fairies, Oberon and Puck, and they're ready to make some magical matchmaking mischief. So here is Down to Love and Magic Touch, sung by Stella Perry and Monique Saleh. time when we didn't have to swipe right we fell in love at first sight and it lasted more than one night do you remember a time when there were fewer complications we felt the same infatuation but with lower expectations well times are changing and i can't keep up I guess I can't get enough of that old-fashioned love I was so close to giving up But when I look into her eyes I'm pleasantly surprised I realize the kids are still down to love In a world that's DTF There may be some heart left The kids are still down to love Are you DTL? She just wants to adore him, live a life with and for him. When the world breaks him down, she'll do all she can to restore him. What more is he looking for? She may seem all too eager, but I think she's a keeper. I have the magic touch to change the way that he perceives her. Come here, the puck, it's just our luck. We found a schmuck to fuck we. A schmuck to fuck with. Yeah! Oh, I do. We're back, baby! Oh, back. Come on! Oh, come yeah. on let's yeah. go. Oh, hello. I'm sure I need no introduction. You've been hanging out for more of me in this production. Well, I'm no ordinary fairy. I'm the legendary confidant for Oberon to depend upon. Oh, yeah, I said fairy. I know we're not imaginary. Well, I Give you a chance for a little bit of romance. Everybody on the earth needs a side brush. If your love life is tragic, you just need a touch of magic. I can make a love your dreams come true. Just trust, we got the magic.
cast that we have managed to get are just the most incredible performers and they range from consummate showbiz professionals in the music theatre world that you've seen and loved on our stages before and then as well some people that have never done musicals before that come from that pop rock world and that authentic cool incredible vocal uh, world that are going to be in a musical for the very first time. In the role of Oberon, the king of the fairies, the ultimate rock star is Stella Perry. And in the role of Puck, the adorable mischievous matchmaker, the right hand man of Oberon is played by Monique Saleh. And these two gals, you're gonna fall in love with them. It's about the music for me, being a singer, being in bands, um, being in the pop world for 20 years. I heard Laura Murphy's songs and, and everything that she was writing was just, it was just hitting home. This score is everything. It's hip hop, it's rap, it's musical theatre, it's rock, it's, it's everything. I'm so excited to be a part of it and to, to just be able to tell these wonderful stories and freshen up Shakespeare in a way that's super relatable and easy to understand. The fact that you can bring Shakespeare to today's audience, bring in a young audience to teach them a thing or two about love, but also teach an older generation a thing or two about love in 2022 is an incredible thing to do. If you know A Midsummer Night's Dream, or even if you don't know A Midsummer Night's Dream, there, there are a lot of little Easter eggs and secrets throughout the show. And my perspective as a, you know, a young female in 2022, I've really been able to put my voice in it and, and share my perspective on romantic love at the moment and what that means and how that's either consistent or differs from our version of romantic love over the last 400 years. From Bach to Beyonce, from Botticelli to The Bachelor, what is it about the way we talk about love, the way we communicate love and the narratives around romantic love particularly that still remain? It is such a human thing, love. That's all we want. We just want to feel love and that's the journey that we go on with these characters. Tickets for The Lovers are on sale tomorrow, 10 a.m. So head to bellshakespeare.com.au to get tickets and be the first in the world to see a brand new Australian musical at the Sydney Opera House, no less. I can't wait to share this with audiences and for them to fall in love with these characters.